Hey folks, Tommy Yarsh here with Horns 24-7 joining you talking the 2023 Texas football schedule. Let's go ahead and take a look at it to get some instant reactions and early thoughts. First up, six tough road games for the Longhorns this season at Alabama, at Baylor, at Oklahoma, in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, at Houston, at TCU, and at Iowa State. This is a big test for Steve Sarkeesian. He's 4-7 and seven on the road through his first two seasons in Austin. We'll see if he can right the ship in year number three. Next up, two new faces on the schedule. At Houston on October 21st and hosting BYU on October 28th. Remember the Big 12 Conference adding four new teams. So Houston and BYU are the ones selected for Texas on the schedule this year. That means no Oklahoma State and no West Virginia on the slate for Texas this year, two teams they'd normally play every year before the conference expanded. And lastly, the bye week, they say it never comes at a bad time. I think it comes at the perfect time this year, right in the middle of the season after the Red River game against Oklahoma. So the Longhorns will get another week to prepare for Houston on the 21st. Let's take a look at a couple games individually here now, a couple that pop out to me when I look at it. First up, obviously, at Alabama, Tuscaloosa, a tough place to play and a really tough team with Nick Saban's Crimson Tide. Longhorns lost a heartbreaker last year by just one point on their home turf. A lot of question marks surrounding the Alabama team now with Bryce Young, Will Anderson heading to the draft, and the biggest one being at the quarterback spot. Bryce Young was able to do so much for Nick Saban during his time there, and now Saban has to find his replacement. Will it be Jalen Milrow? Will it be Ty Simpson? Who knows? A tough decision nonetheless, but the Alabama roster, as always, is stacked top to bottom with talent, and Nick Saban knows how to utilize it, so it'll be a tough game to start off the season and a real testing point to see what the Longhorns are made of in week number two. Next up, obviously the rivalry game against Oklahoma. Last year, it was all Texas, a 49 to nothing blowout victory against the Sooners, who are without their starting quarterback, Dylan Gabriel. Now Gabriel's still in the picture this year, but in comes Jackson Arnold, the five-star quarterback from the 2023 class. Maybe a little bit of a competition there in that quarterback room. 17 transfers out as well for Oklahoma. So our new roster and a new defense essentially for Brent Venables, who is trying to recover from a horrific start in year one, horrific by Oklahoma standards at least. So an interesting rivalry game there following a 49 to nothing win for the Longhorns. And then next up, the two new teams. Obviously, it's going to be interesting to see how the Longhorns handle two teams that they haven't played in a long time. The last time they played Houston was in 2002. The last time against BYU was 2014. This may be the only year that Texas will play these two teams in Big 12 competition with the Longhorns and the Sooners from Oklahoma heading to the SEC. So we'll see how they fare against some new opponents in 2023. And then last but certainly not least, at TCU on November 11th, the Horn Frogs coming off a trip to the national championship this past year in year one under Sonny Dykes. Obviously didn't end the way that they wanted it to, but nonetheless making it there when they were unranked to start the season, a massive accomplishment. A lot of talent leaving Fort Worth as well, though. Max Duggan exits. Quinton Johnston heads to the draft. Travis Hodges Tomlinson, the Thorpe Award winner, heads to the draft as well. But they do bring in some key transfers like JoJo Earl and Trey Sanders from Alabama. So we'll see if Sonny Dykes still has it in him in year two and he can lead the Horned Frogs to another surprising year. That'll be a tough game in Fort Worth. But the Longhorns won it the last time they played TCU on their home turf as well. Keep up with the conversation on the 2023 schedule and more at the Horns 24-7 website, horns247.com. And stick around our Horns 24-7 YouTube channel for more content updated all the time. We want to thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to stick around, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.